Welcome back to Retro Tech. Today I'm working on the Neo Geo cabinet MVS and I'm actually working on the inside on the uh, actual arcade machine um, and just uh, I've already got all the screws taken out here but you can see it's pretty easy there were some screws around the corners to take off this shielding and then there were some more screws around the cartridge ports and the corners and then you just slowly disconnect that from each of these white connectors that match up to the bottom or the top board and you can see this thing looks like it's in great shape so now we've gotten to the actual bottom board and I wanted to go ahead and show you something that there's been a battery modification done to this over here once before. Someone went ahead and removed that original coin cell battery and replaced it with another rechargeable battery that appears to have gone dead. So before I try to re or install a new coin battery in here, I'm going to see if I can get this to charge and if not maybe see about finding a replacement for this if there is any available because then I could just quick connect that onto this cable and not have to mess with it if it's already going to charge correctly. We'll try to get some of this dust off of here and the only thing we're really going to be doing on the inside today is replacing the BIOS chip. That's right here in the middle. This was the original BIOS chip that was in here like this. So we just carefully removed this chip and then we're going to install this replacement BIOS chip 4.0 which I just got. I wanted to show something very interesting. This actually came in a box of matches. It was that and a bunch of matches. I thought that was pretty funny. I thought it looked like a box of matches but when I opened it and saw that it really was a box of matches it's pretty pretty good. Uh, but this one's one of the more easy installs because there's no soldering or anything. We just get to slap it in the spot where the old BIOS was. So, like I said, I've already gotten that one out. And we'll just insert the new one. Make sure that we got it sitting in the right direction. And all our legs are in there. Carefully, slowly put pressure on it. Kind of like put my hand under that spot. Okay. I've inspected the rest of this board and it is in very good shape. Uh, except for the connector down here, there was a little bit of damage here on this pin. And I'm not too sure. I just noticed that when I disconnected it. Everything else looks really clean, but I'm not sure about the damage of this pin. It, did, it hasn't affected anything on the gameplay, so hopefully it won't. But basically, I'm going to reassemble this, and we'll take it outside and see how it works. All right, now I've got the unit fully reassembled. When we finish our restoration, we'll probably come back and maybe top coat, paint this, some other design to match the rest, maybe black with some extra black paint so it'll look better than just this dull metal shielding uh, but everything else on there appears to be in good shape I'm not going to do anything else to the actual PCB on here at, until after we get done testing the battery pack I'm going to try to leave the machine running for maybe a day or two without turning it off and seeing then I'll run some tests on the battery and see if it's getting any kind of charge back into it. Alright, we're back here right at the machine. I've got everything connected back again. And this is going to be the moment where if we see it works or not. Got the three games I got loaded in there and we'll just fire it up and see. So our machine's starting to come on. Close it up for a second. It 
So I just put the machine in test mode. Alright, so please ignore that scrolling effect on the screen. It's just a camera shutter effect. I just wanted to show that this was working. As you can see up here, Unibios version 4.0. This is a new setup calendar and set up everything just basically that's so we know the BIOS is working and then we can get into the menu and this chip does have all kinds of features such as region setup uh, again you can set it to where it's the AES home version style um, you can also set it for cheats and a jukebox mode but it's very easy to install on this machine and it's almost a must nowadays you can patch games it says here patch memory and then a lot of other features so it appears to be something that's going to be a great part or it's going to be a great addition to this machine and really make it just a little bit better than it was. So that's the first part of the restoration on the inside. Next we'll start taking apart the outside and getting it ready for its new makeover. Thanks for watching Retro Tech and have a great day.